first, I will pass my time to um, Tata Ali, our creative director. I'm just going to go over the Gentlemen, this is our product demonstration. So, if because of the exams, you haven't watched our boys to men, right? Our demonstration is just as good, if better. Okay. So, what we're gonna do now is, uh, my game will be the fire, okay? And we will demonstrate to you our product when engaging enemy as well as friendly targets. Fire, adopt half right position. Stand by. <laughs> Enemy target, contact left, watch your front. <laughs> okay guys, you can see right, nothing happened. So it's a good thing because Ali is the enemy target. So Pegasus will not activate. You can see here is Pegasus, huh? that's what Ali did just now. So. <laughs> Pegasus over here with the load bearing bag, so Shetan will be our friendly target for today. <laughs> 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 Okay, so same thing. Huh? Farah, adopt half right position. Stand by. Farah, friendly target. Contact half left. Watch your front. Okay, so as you can see, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so you can see there's a red laser here. Okay, so actually, what happens is because the Pegasus has really detected that she's a friendly target. So whoever is wearing the vest, right, will be the friendly target. Okay. So if she takes off the vest, then the light won't be there. Right? So this is this shows that our Pegasus is working well. So we have come to the end of the uh, presentation. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
just to say that any type of sanctification so, but it does not actually mention uh, uh, what are the plans that actually are required in order to get this product to come into the market. Could you mention? Uh, 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 new Q985 uh, specifications will require the product to go through a certain test like soft test, humidity test, uh, shock proof testing. There, there is a list of testing, <coughs> so we have to, uh, we have to uh, accommodate to all the requirements. So all these things will come with the most practical to you, or most difficult to manage? I think it will be weatherproof, uh, because all these are electronics and we are trying to make it weatherproof that it can go underwater, it can, it can be shock proof as well. Now, one, uh, the market is not just Singapore, you're also going to international, right? So what are the factors that prevent you from going international? So it's, a, it's a very highly regulated environment. Okay, so because actually uh, we are in the military, so we know that you know, there are certain clauses. And, I mean, everybody knows that uh, we have various classifications, restricted, confidential, secret, top secret. So we don't know how the military might categorize our product. So if the military categorizes our product as top secret, right, then definitely there will be some regulations as to how to sell it to other countries. But of course, maybe because our product is not a weapon itself, it's not targeted to kill, it's targeted to save lives. So maybe there might be a lessening, I mean, the, the, the impacts and the regulation side, right, it might not be so strict because it's more like a first aid or you know, casualty kind of thing rather than we are designed to kill because you cannot you cannot have the Americans sell you the F-22 Raptor to any other country right? but they can sell you things like you know things that is meant for first aid you know for humanitarian disasters so we'll see about that but because the thing is we do not know how the Ministry of Defense will categorize our product so we do not know how how open we can be with our product and also because they are the main sponsor for our funding you see so uh, to put it simply we have to listen to them <laughs> so, do you know which law that governs this? Uh, it makes a secret. Clearance not high enough. Uh, <laughs> 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 it's unfair to you to ask this question, but actually, there's a law. It's, it's no secret, right? Uh, that any, any uh, export of uh, arms require uh, regulatory permission from uh, defense and foreign affairs. So this is something that we uh, work on with the one of the and So in your know, project schedule, one of the items is regulatory approval, which is much more tighter. It's a lot of people work harder than just the uh, Guys, hold on, uh, we still got one last slide. Uh, there's uh, one last slide here, it's not part of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, we are looking for him, he's wanted, okay? Uh, Liu Hao last year in the uh, NUS. So if you do see him, he's still at large, uh, we'll just call it police online. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Warfare tactics is getting more and more complicated. Uh, we started off with uh, ammunition, then came in the chemical warfare, then came in all the radar, uh, radio frequency warfare where the naval vessels try to intercept each other. So it's, it's up to the mind already. Long. We, we, we can try to use technology to help you, but once you come up with a new technology, people will try to misuse it again. So it's up to the soldier's uh, ability on the ground. Yeah, so got another thing to add because if in the war, right, if you drop your gun, you, your soldier die, right? Your enemy can pick up your gun as well, you see? Mm. So he can just shoot you back as well. So, you're, I mean, you cannot use this to say, I mean, no offense, but you cannot use this to say that you're using your own weapon to target your own man. Because if you drop your weapon, your son 21, and anybody picks it up, he can use it against you. And also, I don't think in the war, you'll be facing what you'll be facing your fellow soldier. You'll be all facing towards the same front line. So, if you see someone targeting you and keep firing at you, I think you should know what to do. Okay? Yeah, the another question. So, uh, together with the product, you probably need uh, a training uh, program. So, how are you going to integrate into the training program? Be it during the BMP, CSPEC, or OCS period? Which which period that you think is most suitable? Uh, okay. Uh, I think at the first place, uh, when we start to sell off the product, uh, as you those army people might see, uh, some uh, 
uh, there will be the Pegasus will be at different places. So let's say for SAR thirty one, it was at the uh, at the infantry side. So all the support arms like uh, combat engineers are still using the M sixteen. So uh, this product this product will probably be first uh, established at the at the commando side at the special forces side. So uh, they will start using it until like the entire army is uh, equipped with this. Then maybe we can start from a uh, BMP level where they will be issued with the gun and the uh, Pegasus uh, device as well. Uh, special forces uh, maybe. Because we don't go to war except for special forces who really get up close. So they will be the first one to test it out. Yeah, actually the Americans, actually our system also uh, originated from the Americans. The Americans actually have such a system but they use it uh, in a lesser, I mean not, not such a big scale and also they use it in their training institutes as well. So you can search online, they have it already. We try to I try to call it this morning also uh, never appear. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Are we taking a class photo? I will wash off my camel. Wash off. Okay, thanks. <laughs> That's the title of the Oh, okay.